Today we're comparing two very similar Callaway players distance irons, the Rogue ST Pro and the Apex 21. We'll discuss feel, we'll discuss sound, and we'll see what Trackman tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, master club fitter here at Minnetonka. A head-to-head -head iron comparison today, Rogue ST Pro and Apex 21. Danny, when we did the swing report, mm -hmm. you noted that the Rogue ST Pro and the Apex 21 would be a pretty similar comparison. So we went and got the club head of Apex <laughs> 21 and uh, we're seeing those similarities in the look uh, and the size of them as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, anytime you get into more of a player's type look, it's gonna be a little bit narrower heel to toe. Mm -hmm. The biggest difference difference is what's going on underneath the hood, the sole design and the yeah. bottom shape of that. So when we go into the apex, we'll get into some visuals later on, but a little more rounded on the back edge, a little bit more bounce or width structure across yeah. the whole head. Uh, we go into the Rogue Pro, it's definitely more of a flatter sole. There's less camber on the back edge, sure. less bounce overall. So more of a, a player's type iron for players that are steep probably not the best solution to go mm -hmm. into this head. But the reason why we're testing it, guys, the loft is the same. Yeah. 30 and a half, 30 and a half. This is a good test for me because I've been playing a combo set in the Apex and the Apex Pro. So I'm interested to see what shakes yeah. out with the Rogue ST. Couple of things tech wise, um, they changed up the tungsten weighting. That's what you know, a lot of manufacturers are doing, where it is, how does that increase forgiveness? Mm -hmm. You know, and everything is going low and further back. Right. Raise more forgiveness in players' irons. Uh, they also brought up the urethane microspheres, yeah. which has been a trend as of late for them as well. But they increased it in terms of managing ball speed more across the face and better feel, all the way up to the sixth groove, which is pretty even on the head now. Mm -hmm. So def definitely want to see how the forgiveness is from one year to the next. And ultimately, let's rely on Trackman to you know, basically give us a king. Which one is better? Okay. Going yeah, because that year. I mean that was I know that was we, we tested the Rogue ST Pro and that was the first thing that came to your mind was Apex Twenty One. It's 100%. pretty similar. Yep. And so uh, we're gonna see what Trackman says here. I'm very curious because I really noticed the look of this when first testing it. It looks like a slightly larger blade. I mean, okay. it, it has a little bit of that look. The back obviously kind of has that appearance as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one more thing. Tell me about the shaft I'm gonna use today because I basically told Danny for okay. what it's worth. Go find me a, a golf shaft that fits my swing. So this is what you came up with here. Yeah, so I chose the Project X LS. Reason why is because you're a high-speed guy. So this is a stepless pattern, meaning there's no indentations in the shaft to mm -hmm. help it load or bend. Also very similar cosmetic to another manufacturer, by the KBS C taper. Mm -hmm. So this will promote very similar characteristics, okay. but five grams lighter in weight. I think you're just gonna roast this thing. It's gonna All be right. good. All right, ready? well, I'm excited. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So Drew, we're gonna lead out with the Apex 21. Probably a little bit more forgiving. You know, mm -hmm. we talked about sole width, heel to toe, kind of all that good stuff in the beginning. But you and I both agree, this kind of fits right in between the Apex Pro and mm -hmm. the Apex 21 in terms of the sole design yeah. and where the weighting is. Yeah. yeah, so, and the one thing I'm curious about and how it performs with TrackMan is, you mentioned the curvature and kind of the, the camber of the sole. It mm -hmm. is, so I looked at the Rogue ST Pro and I see this now, it is, there's a lot more of that that you know design that curve on there, so I'm yep. curious to see what type of performance difference that generates on track. Okay, okay. Well, let's get to work. Wow. You get a pretty good feel of those two. Okay, I like that feel. It was like. Soft, but still responsive enough. Mm -hmm. Roasted. Yeah, that one was roasted. Gotcha. It's actually not that bad. Wow, pretty good. Pinchy. That one was a little bit louder, it seemed like, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Came just a little bit 
more closed with my club face there. Yep. That's the first time we saw the spin really fluctuate there as well. Yeah. With an actual solid hit ball. Mm -hmm. So, Drew, talk to me. I mean, you picked up a little bit of sound difference. Mm -hmm. You know, we just did a video where we we're testing another club head. Yeah. How is this compared to a more forgiving iron? Yeah. You know, this it's definitely a soft. It's, and, you know, because we had been testing some game improvement irons. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely softer than that okay. in terms of the feel. Um, okay. it's, it's soft but still responsive, which okay. is kind of where you want to be in that player's distance category yeah. probably. Yes. Um, for whatever reason, that last shot I hit was a little bit firmer and kind of okay. louder, it seemed yeah. like. But uh, overall, I think it's pretty soft and, mm -hmm. and feels pretty good uh, okay. for a player's distance iron, I think. Okay, okay. And, you know, I want to talk a lot about forgiveness. I mean, we saw just a couple miss hits. We're still flirting at 1.40 on the efficiency, mm -hmm. so kudos <clears> to you there. But what I love to see is the consistency on the spin. Even when we're drawing the ball, spin was still over five grand. Okay. And carry distance, 196.7 with two yards of variance. So very, very similar every time in terms of yeah. distance. It just comes down to you know, where that base is pointed that impact. Yeah. Is it more shut? Is it more neutral? But I love to see that window kind of tighten up in terms of how far is this going to go for sure. Drew. So I think that'll be a good test to kind of see how the Rogue ST Pro kind of climbs into the mix as well. I do want to dive into uh, just see how we interact head to head. But that's pretty darn good just out of the gates there. So two millimeters in the heel, two millimeters, yeah. two millimeters high, so half a dimple we're missing by. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. Pretty good. Like that. <laughs> pretty good start. So let's uh, swap into the Rogue ST Pro head. Okay. That's something slightly less forgiving, different sole design. See how you interact with that. What are you seeing? Uh, not, not a whole lot, actually. They're very, very similar. I would say the Rogue ST Pro is maybe just a marginally shorter heel toe. And maybe just a little bit shorter, kind of north and south as well as the blade mm -hmm. itself. So there'll probably be a little bit less tungsten into this head then. Um, sure. But overall, interested to see the sound kind of coming right out of yeah. the apex. Again, the same loft. Definitely that difference too in terms of there's the, you get the kind of that, that shiny reflective chrome on the yeah. ST Pro that, I, yeah. you know, there's not on the apex. But yeah, I, just a slightly smaller club head, but I don't, I don't think it's like, a huge difference, you know. Okay. Because I know, you know, there's a lot of feedback from players on the Apex Pro and how much tungsten weight was in that head and what that did to the sound and feel yeah. for players. So I'm interested yeah. to see it, that That's drop right, that a little Apex bit. Apex Pro is a little bit of a louder club. It head, definitely you know, for was. That, for the category that it's in, as that player's kind of yeah. almost not cavity back, but, you know, a, not quite a full blade. It's kind of right. A, Right a little bit larger player's iron. That's kind of, it was louder for that category. So Yeah, so let's see how this sound is with this one. Let's see what Trackman has to say. Definitely louder. Yep. Okay. At least on that shot. Mm -hmm. Turned over on that one. Okay. But still good. That'll work. Yep. It's amazing that this sounded quiet compared to the Rogue ST Max mm -hmm. and the Max OS. I love that feedback. Yeah. Because this seems loud now. Mm -hmm. Is that going to come back? Good ball. It will. Curious on that one. It's a little bit of a miss, but. Yeah, and where we missed it, spin kind of killed it. So I would probably venture, yep, there's a little bit toe side yeah. there, which is okay. That's the right side to miss to keep oh, the yeah. spin off of it. So at least carry distance was, you know, not a big hurt. I mean, yeah, I lost yards. eight yards off my average, so. But definitely notice that compared to how you interact with the Apex with uh, a little bit bigger sole design, a little bit more friendly mm -hmm. for you. That was hit better. Yep. Sounded really good there. Yeah. Interesting. That one was kind of a, like a lower, almost rising flight, it seemed like. Yeah. 
you know, launch at 16, dynamic loft is still a little bit more than what we're used to seeing here in the 18, 19s. Yeah. That's still the weight of the shaft. So if I can slow down your hands a little bit through weight, that adds dynamic loft. Interesting. Mm -hmm. See, I, didn't even, I wouldn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not. Well, my club face was wide open there. Still came Jeez. back. Yeah, it did. I hit that one really good, so it kind of made up for it distance-wise, I think. Yeah, it still yep. stayed up there. Yep. I think this is uh, more forgiving than what it looks like. I think you're right. impression of it. I think you're right. I'm surprised at the, how consistent, like, even when I have that face open, mm -hmm. it's still carrying a pretty good distance for me, like, pretty consistent compared yeah. to the rest of them. Yeah, I mean, depending on where we struck that, that's the highest dynamic loft we've seen by close to three degrees from you. Yeah. And on a good one, we are carrying at 194 to 197 in there. So seeing a little bit more dynamic loft at impact, we still got away with the carry. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot more forgiveness in that head than what you would originally think by picking it up off the shelf and putting it down and yeah, looking at it. You're right. I mean, so, like I said, it, it, it looks a little bit smaller than the Apex 21. I'm mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. really impressed with the, the uh, consistency here. So, Drew, talk to me about you know, overall first impressions with this. We hit a few more shots with it, so you have a little mm -hmm. bit more kind of reaction to it. Yep. Talk to me, talk about your way through that one. Yeah, this was definitely louder, a little okay. bit firmer than the Apex. Okay. Um, and, but I will say to your, the point we discussed a little bit too, it seems to be more consistent, more stable okay. than the Apex, I think. Okay. I mean, I have five more shots at the Apex yet, but Okay. I didn't feel like I was catching it as consistently on the face okay. um, with these 10 shots, yet, you know, I'm very impressed with how it kept up distance wise. And I feel like that map is, I mean, for me, pretty good, mm -hmm. that dispersion kind of oval up there, yeah. being, you know, given where kind of I was all over the face a little bit with where I hit it. Okay, well, let's take a look. Let's find out. I know we That's, were sitting. I, I, I have to think my, that, well, where I hit it, but also my face angle was very open, closed, square, you know, I had that going on Correct. too. Correct. Yep. And that's, you know, the thing, Drew, when you get into smaller club heads where the weight is, any miss hit is going to be, you know, exaggerated a little bit more. The gear effect with, with smaller club heads mm -hmm. takes over and can adjust for that. So, I mean, this was your heat pattern kind of with the, the Rogue ST Pro there. So definitely just a fraction toe side, you know, but still within a, within a dimple okay. of it. So. I wouldn't say there's much to hate there. That's a good spot to be. Yeah. Um, but Apex, we were a little bit heel side with it. But overall, I mean, talk to me about kind of your interaction with the turf. How was that for you? I noticed we, we did have a couple kind of miss hits in there with the Rogue ST. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as, you know, shot to shot, efficiency was very good. 137, you know, 132 was the low at 184 on yeah. carry. Okay. But overall, I mean, we got some more shots in our back pocket with the Apex 21. Let's spin that back in and kind of see where we're at. Okay. Yeah, putting it back down, it is bigger. Okay. But I, I, I and, and I'm not someone that likes the reflective, shiny stuff sure. usually. But I think I like the shiny chrome on like the outside of the face more because mm. there is just that, that much of a contrast between. Okay. You know, so you're, you're, it you're kind of frames the, the hosel and the toe. And then, yeah, it does frame. I like that a lot okay. um, after okay. putting them both down now. I think I prefer that. That's Completely definitely a different sound. Definitely a softer feel, too. Wow. It's, yeah, very, very different. Yep. I feel like these spin numbers on both clubs are very close. Very, very close. Yep. Toasted. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Mm 
little close on the face there relative to the other ones. Okay. So a couple good things. What I really like is that it's less kind of north and south dispersion wise with Apex 21 both mm -hmm. times. White being version one, purple being second approach to it. So very similar pattern with that. Ultimately, from a fitting perspective, there'd be some adjustments there lying wise, but sure. we've been playing at standard and plus a half inch in length for you. But overall, I mean, the ease of use, I would say is dramatically higher for you with the Apex as yeah. opposed to the Rogue ST. I think you're right. Um, I think for whatever reason, this kind of curved mm -hmm. sole with the more camber there, it seemed to fit me in the way I deliver the club a little bit better. Yeah. Um, Cause we're seeing a little bit more consistency in terms mm -hmm. of how wide the circle is, but right. also the consistency in terms of distance yeah. where it lands too. Yep. And you know, so kind of breaking them down, just the apex line, we'll start out in that. So ball speed got marginally faster, less than a mile an hour. Efficiency was great. It actually launched a degree lower, but spin was still pretty stable. Yeah, that's lost interesting. That time. So basically we have 10 shots that landed you know two yards of variance from 197 call it you know but very very consistent there very consistent mm -hmm. and the rogue st pro just launch up a little bit higher my guess is that there's a little bit more tungsten in that head to help launch it yeah okay the center gravity is a little bit different which is also why there's marginally a little bit more spin on that golf ball too and a little bit more height yeah. overall so interesting because we got it looks like I mean, I, this is very marginal, but we're seeing the most spin from the Rogue ST Pro, mm -hmm. and also seeing the, it also went the shortest, yep. but then also, like you said, highest launch. So yeah. it seems like maybe a little bit more help in the Rogue ST Pro for mm -hmm. the golfer that needs help launching it. Maybe I would agree. needs some more height, needs some more spin. Yeah. I mean, again, not a huge difference, but I think that's where the ST Pro seems to be geared more towards helping players launch into the air, mm -hmm. whereas the Apex seems to be a little bit more geared towards the workability factor, curving the ball a little bit, those that player type right. uh, characteristics. The feel part too kind of fell yeah. in that category as well. Yeah, it, absolutely. And you know, from a loft structure, this is gonna be very, very easy to blend the two together. You know, the Apex, then the conversation, well, do we go Rogue ST in the lower side, or yeah. do we go Apex Pro and do some loft adjustment to bend those? But I think overall, loft is loft, and these you know performed really, really well. Yeah. But I think ultimately, any good fitter's got to talk to you about sole design in the bottom of that club for you, how you interact with it. You know my favorite Strixon. You know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just did a video a little while ago on that. So any differentiation in the sole width can ultimately help a player get in and out of the turf more effectively yeah. and raise that forgiveness too. Mm -hmm. So well done from Callaway. Yeah, I think both are really good. There's some slight differences, but I think it was good to get a test here because I mm -hmm. know that was one that you took note of and you can see a lot of the similarities. I mean, right. performance is pretty similar and I got a lot very similar distances across the board, but yep. there was certainly a difference in sound and feel. Mm -hmm. And then you can certainly tell that difference in maybe who they're geared for. You know? yeah. Uh, the yeah. ST Pro, I think a little bit more help with that tungsten weighting, a little bit lower in the head, right. uh, higher launch, higher spin. Yep. And then just seemed like a little bit more of the uh, player's type performance is mm -hmm. packed into the Apex here. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And I think a lot of the players, you know, you brought up a great point on sound. A lot of players were turned off or some players were turned off by the Apex Pro mm -hmm. in 21. That it's, you know, had a little bit more of a bark to it indoors. Do you know it's said outdoors? Probably not as much. Sure. But it's enough to make people say, I, I like a different feel indoors better than something else. Yeah. So ultimately they might go a different direction, right? But if a player, you know, seeing the loft differences, if they hit the Rogue ST, they're like, man, Danny, that just doesn't sound quite right. Perfect, I got the next one, the Apex 21, I'll muffle that out. Mm -hmm. So that helps from a fitting perspective, but seeing and, you know, thanking you for all the shots hit, seeing the Rogue ST, launch up a little bit higher. I kind of knew that already, but I wanted to confirm it. There so, you, you know, love the work today, Drew. A lot of good stuff from Callaway in 2022. I'm excited about their whole line. Yeah, definitely same here. A lot of good stuff here from Callaway. Yeah. So guys, if you'd like what's going on with the new Callaway ST family in 2022, smash that subscribe button. Show Drew some love on, on the golf swing he had today. And thanks for tuning in.